What's going on guys? So today's video is going to be kind of interesting and if you hear banging noises that's coming from these garage doors because it's kind of windy outside. Uh, that said, we're going to be talking about a solution to a problem that I've had out here. So you all know we have a lot of power equipment out here. I have the Skag mower, I have the Toro mower, I have the Bad Boy as well as the John Deere mini excavator. And in terms of the Bad Boy and the John Deere Mini Excavator, they both run off of diesel, whereas the Skag and the Toro mowers run off of gasoline. Now, one of the challenges we run into is having fuel available whenever we need it, whenever we run out of fuel on any of this equipment, whether it's gas-powered equipment or whether it's diesel-powered equipment. And we've been looking for a solution that's cost-effective, reliable, as well as convenient, because I think all of those matter whenever it comes to moving fuel around. So we're going to talk about that, uh, what we currently do, and what we're going to be doing. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the shelf of fuel tanks. You can see I have it split up between gas and diesel, and we are constantly, constantly filling these things up. And you know what makes it more convenient is the fact that we do have the SureFlow cans, which are these really cool fuel cans right here that have this spout that make it a little easier to transfer fuel from these five gallon containers into a piece of equipment. But it can still be inconveniencing having to constantly fill up these fuel tanks. And again, we go through quite a bit of it here. We probably use more gas than diesel, but we use a good amount of both. And the inconveniencing aspect of this, again, is really loading all this stuff up into the back of a truck, going to a gas station, and then constantly having to unscrew the lids, fill these things up, put the lid back on, move on to the next one, move on to the next one, and it's just not that convenient of a process. That said, we have a fix for this today. It's gonna to be an interesting one because it will give us some flexibility, even still gonna require a bit of ingenuity. So in front of you, you were looking at the Viver Fuel Caddy. So this is super cool. This specific one is actually rated for diesel fuel. This is a sponsored video, so I want to give a big shout out to the folks over at Viva for providing this to me for review and evaluation. What was interesting is, is they've reached out to me quite a few times asking me to review certain products that they have. And a lot of the products that they have, I just didn't feel were the right fit for the channel. There weren't things that we could really use and I could really demonstrate. So I went to their website and I started looking generally at what all they carry, and I saw these fuel caddies. And these fuel caddies are super awesome because they allow you to carry fuel with you or take fuel to where it needs to go or simply store fuel in a way that can be really convenient, especially when you have equipment that uses a lot of fuel. So the specific one you're looking at is made for diesel fuel. Um, I had originally requested this in a different color, like yellow or something that would have made it clear, but you know, the big label on the pump here that says diesel pump is probably going to be enough. Plus, I'll probably mark on the side of it or put a label on the side that says diesel fuel only. But what's cool about this is this is essentially a 32-gallon fuel caddy. So it runs a 12-volt DC pump right here that's designed for diesel fuel. It has a really, really cool handle, very similar to what you might see at a fuel station. Nice clear hose as well, so you can actually see the fuel transferring in. And it connects to a like a jumper box with the 12 volt cables there so you can actually power the whole setup along with giving you a on off button to be able to turn the unit on and off. So this is really cool. Specs on it is the fact that it has a 12 volt diesel pump, um, 140 watt pump, 32 gallon capacity or 121 liters and has two almost nine and a half inch, 9.4 inch wheels to help you move the thing around a lot easier plus a 13 foot hose. So this hose right here gives you plenty of room to be able to move around objects to be able to get to the fuel tank that you need to get to. It's made out of high density polyethylene. So this should be a really durable tank. Um, and just for reference, a lot of the fuel tanks that come on modern diesel trucks are actually polyethylene. So it's the same material that they use to build fuel tanks in a lot of your newer uh, diesel pickup trucks. But this is super cool. And I think it's gonna come in really handy because again, once we fill this up, we'll be able to go straight to the tractor or pull the tractor up to it whenever we need fuel. Simply insert the, right here, the fuel nozzle, turn it on, and you'll start to see the fuel pump through the line directly into your piece of equipment. You could simply connect this to the battery of whatever you're filling up as well. So I could connect that to the battery of the tractor to power this. But I have a jumper box that I can carry around with me also that kind of moves everything a little bit further away and keeps it disconnected from the tractor if I need to. But this is really cool. Now, a lot of folks are gonna say, you fill this thing up to 32 gallons, it's not gonna be light. 
First of all, it's not very light as it sits. It's pretty heavy. It probably weighs close to 40 pounds. Whenever we fill this up, we're going to be adding a significant amount of additional weight to it, but in the terms of diesel fuel. So how do I plan on moving this thing around? That's actually a good question. When it's empty, we're simply going to load it into the bed of the pickup truck. We'll take it to whatever fuel station we want to fill it up with. You take your cap off right here, fill this thing all the way up. We're going to secure it in an upright position, probably to the bedside or to the front where the toolbox is, just so it doesn't tip over. Mainly because if I fill it up while it's flat, you're going to have a large cavity of space that's not going to be full simply because this is positioned on the side at that point, if that makes sense. But because it's on the top, we can fill it almost completely full. Then once it's completely full, we uh, simply secure it to the bed of the truck. Once we get it home, the process of unloading this, if you have a tractor, is super easy. I just have my pallet forks on, throw a pallet on there, wheel this onto the actual tractor, and lower it down gently. So the means of getting this off of the truck when it's full is gonna be pretty simple. And once we get the gas version of this, uh, we'll be able to do the same thing. A lot of folks are probably gonna ask if this thing's reliable. So we wanted to start off with one item. We didn't wanna jump into two of them. We, we wanted to make sure that this will actually accomplish the task that we're trying to accomplish. And uh, once we use this for a couple of months, we'll definitely know how it's holding up if we have any issues with it. And I'll report back to you to let you know. But if you are in the same situation I was in where I needed more than just five gallons of fuel and I don't wanna carry a bunch of five gallon jugs around, and it's more convenient to carry it in bulk versus carrying it in individual jugs. I mean, this is the equivalent of six five-gallon fuel tanks and then some. So I'm not under any illusion. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to fill this thing completely full. So I'm going to imagine we can probably get close to maybe five and a half to six five-gallon containers worth of fuel or probably roughly around 25 to 28 gallons of fuel in here. But that's the really nice aspect of this is that it's bulk. I have it all together and I can use this to fill up my equipment. And with this one, of course, it would be my, my tractor here and it would be the mini excavator. With the gasoline version, it would be for the Skag as well as the Toro and several other pieces of equipment that we have that use fuel, such as my pressure sprayer right there. But what do you guys think? I think this is super awesome. I really like how convenient it is. The size of it is also really nice because it's the equivalent of stacking up multiple five gallon containers instead of laying flat like I have to essentially do it right now. It'll take up less room. I can position the hose in a way that's much easier to fill it up. It has an automatic hold lever here, just like you would have at your, your normal gas stations where you can lock it in place and let this thing just continue to fill up whatever you need to fill up. Uh, it's just a really, really convenient tool that I think is gonna come in really handy out here. And once we get the gas version of this as well, it's gonna be an extra special tool for us to be able to fill up all of our mowers and other equipment without needing to deal with five gallon jugs. The five gallon jugs aren't going anywhere. I'm gonna keep them as backup. It's always good to have the ability to, to carry fuel around if you have a generator or something like that, because from a portability perspective, this isn't gonna be as convenient just to load up and go if you need to fill up you know, five gallons worth of fuel in something. But from a capabilities perspective out here, for us, this is a big fuel transfer tank. It's a big fuel storage tank for us. Again, each one of these is the equivalent to, you know, over six five gallon containers. And that, that's, that's pretty dang awesome. Anyways, guys, I will put a link in the description of this video if this is something you're interested in. Uh, it's a sub $400 product. So, you know, you can absolutely afford this for the most part. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of people who think that price is just overly expensive for what you get. I think that's actually a pretty good value and they do run sales. So big shout out to the folks over at Viva for sending this for review and evaluation on the channel. Truly appreciate it. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up and we will talk to you again very soon.